23rd of March, 2019. Uh, some earthquake news. Early warning system gets big funding boost in new budget. The earthquake early warning system under construction on the West Coast got a significant boost in the budget signed into law, defying the earlier proposal by President Trump to end federal funding of the program. Now, initially, I thought this was a back and forth with Pelosi, but maybe it's not. As part of the $1.3 trillion budget approved by Congress this week that's signed by Trump on Friday, officials approved $22.9 million project. So if there's an earthquake coming, they're going to detect it. Uh, if there's something else coming that causes an earthquake, they're not going to detect it. Here's a piece of news I didn't know that was out there. July 26, big one's coming. Earthquake off the West Coast could eventually trigger, trigger a global event. Now, I really didn't believe this is possible. This is the first time I ever read it. I don't know how legitimate it is. I'm going to follow it up later, but I'm just going to read this piece of news with you and, and move on here. It says the cause for concern is what happens when the Juan de Fuca plate eventually submerged under the much larger Pacific plate. For approximately 330 years, the plate has continuously been pushed down, an activity that will eventually lead it to be pushed under the North American plate, causing the region to sink six feet. on the minimum and may result in one of the largest earthquakes in human history. Wanda Fuca Plate stretches from North California, British Columbia, Cascadia Subduction Zone. It includes a subduction zone and stretches from North Vancouver Island to Cape Mendon, Medicino, California. All right, the proverbial big, big ones brought it back up. And the San Andreas Fault. Okay, all this is just a, just a matter of time, but it, I'm going to go ahead and show you this U.S. nuke targets map again because this came out the same time all this earthquake news was coming out. More importantly, I'm going to show you the dates. That's February 25th. Russia threatens to vaporize U.S. cities. Here are the areas the U.S. is most likely to be hit under a nuclear attack. And same map, different article. And here's an interesting one. The, Russia, the Russian nuke hit list includes bases that have been closed for years. One of the bases just happened to be in Maryland, but another base happens to be over here. In this area, you can see Microsoft is right there. And also what is there is the subduction zone. Okay, I made mention of this already in the other video. I took a long time to make it. I wish I would have made it a little bit quicker. And I wish I would have been a little bit faster through the video. There's the subduction zone. You see how close that is uh, to Vancouver. That's where Microsoft is located at as well. Uh, and there's a subduction zone. You see how it goes underneath. I showed you the earlier article. And we also got to be worried about these guys. And uh, at the same time, let's see, one day later. One day later. Russian state TV lists targets for Putin's and nukes. Okay. What happens the next day? California's big one could be a volcanic eruption. February 25th. So that was all of February, and now we got an early detection system out of this. Is it because they're threatening an earthquake, or is it because we're threatened by an earthquake? I don't know, but California just got a bunch of money. So, uh... If you liked the video, uh, go ahead and hit thumbs up. If you got any uh, comments, if you're from the West Coast, let me know. Tell me what you're thinking about this thing. Um, this big one, is there anybody talking about this big one? Is it just everybody else 
not so close to the West Coast. Thanks for joining me on The Curve.